Jeff Blankman talking right now with the Audubon Boys 4x100 relay team here today, and then we're going to lead things off with Mitchell Nelson. Mitchell, how'd you feel out of the blocks today? I felt really good out of the blocks. Uh, felt like it took forever to get us set, and once we were in set, it took a while to shoot the gun, but I felt fast, felt like my feet were in the right spots, so you know, I was hugging that line the whole time. I just I felt good today. Is that tough, though, when you feel like you're sitting in the blocks for a long time? Yeah, especially, usually it's maybe a long set, but even before they got a set, somebody was taking a long time to get in their block, so I was sitting there for a while on my arms, I was putting my weight on my arms a little bit. But yeah, that's, it's not a big deal, I guess, he's still gonna run the same distance. So. Third event of the day for you, all finals. Did you feel like you had the energy you needed here? Yeah, yeah, I definitely felt good, because uh, you know, I ate a little bit of peanut butter sandwich between races here, and these guys were getting all hyped about it, and we knew we were gonna have a shot at the school record, so. I was definitely pumped up, ready to go, had the energy I needed, yeah. Peanut butter sandwich is like your favorite, or is that just what gives you energy? That's just a little something to, you know, add a little sugar, add a little bread to your system, just to keep you going, I guess, I don't know. Well, I tell you what, Mitchell, it's been a lot of fun covering you. Appreciate all the time you've given us. Thank you. Let's move over now to uh, Kyle Russell, who ran the second leg here today. Kyle, how did you feel like your handoff went? I felt, I felt really well. I got it good from Mitchell. Um, he said he didn't have, he didn't really run up on it. Got it, took off hard, just ran my leg of the race and got it to Eli as soon as I could. We had a good hand off, so yeah, it went well. I couldn't have asked for a better race, really, with these guys. Did you feel strong the whole hundred you ran? Yep. Yeah, I did. I mean, finals at State Track, you're pretty juiced. I mean, adrenaline's up and everybody's everybody's ready to go, so yeah, I felt good. How long before you hit top speed, you think? Um, I'd say it's about 10, maybe 10 steps out of the start from when Mitchell tells me to go, so yeah. What's, what's the feeling? I think you guys broke school record today, if I if I understand right, yep. right? <laughs> yeah, it feels good knowing we'll be up there for a while, so yeah. Nobody going to get this one for a while? <laughs> I mean, I, I, hope, I hope we're up there for a while. I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see what one of the younger guys are saying yeah. here. Elijah Zeiger joining us now. Ran the third leg. How did feel, things feel for you to start with today? Um, I knew that record could go down today. I knew we could go in the top four, and uh, I've been pumped about it all day. I guess it was kind of a blur as the race was going. I just tried to do what I was supposed to, and everything felt good. Uh, I, I heard the announcer say Kyle Russell coming out well for Mitchell, and uh, yeah, when he came, I got out hard, and he got the stick to me, and I took off, and I didn't see a whole lot of people around me. I was on the outside, so I knew we were going to have a shot to do good today, and that's what we did. Happy with the with the, with the fourth place finish then? Yep, uh, I really am, because 4407, that broke our school record by five tenths, so, you know, I couldn't be happier. That's Last year, we were in the finals, and one of the handouts got a little messed up, so that's kind of redemption for me, and uh, I'm just pumped about it. So, is that something that you thought about today before the race? I didn't think about that last year. I just knew that it was time to do our jobs because this is the last race I'm running in track. So, what, what do you feel uh, about being down here? What are some of the memories from this year, years past? You're going to take away? Uh, I, th I think this is the best way that we could have possibly finished. It is our best time by far. And uh, four seniors here, we're good buddies, and we just, you know, we really uh, came out and performed today, and I'm really happy with everyone. Any message to the younger guys that might try to think about breaking this record? Uh, you can give it a shot. It's, you're gonna have to work hard. It's, I'll be, I'll be, you know, I'll be happy if they do, but. Uh, I mean, that record has been there since 1979 that we just broke, so it's kind of a big deal for us, and yeah, our names are going to be on the board now. So. Congratulations. Great job. Appreciate you joining us. Let's move over now to Jake Mulford, who ran the anchor leg today. Uh, you hear the gun go, and you got to wait for three other guys to run 300 meters before you get the baton. What do you think and how you're mentally preparing yourself through that time? Um, well, today I had the luxury of having a big screen, so I mean, I could see the whole thing pretty much, but I... You know, I can usually see Mitchell from across the field. I see him get out of the blocks. He gets out of the blocks real well. He comes out, does an outstanding first leg for us, and then gives it to Kyle. You know, Kyle is a great uh, back, straight, back straightaway runner, and, you know, he's been doing it awesome and getting people alive all year. Give it to Elijah, and, you know, he's got a great lean going around that third curve, right, yeah, second curve, yeah, right yeah. and, you know, he leans in hard, and we get our hand off about perfect every time, and, you know, the, the pressure, the pressure's up because it's such a tight race all the time, but, you know, we just, we don't try to run other people's races, we go out there, run our race, and see what we can do, and hopefully post the best time. What were you thinking, what were you seeing 
as you were coming down the straightaway here for that final leg? Uh, I was just, I, all I saw was I saw Lawton Bronson and Jezum in front of me, and I was like, I'm going to push this, do my best to stay with him. If I stay with him, then we're definitely going to go break, get that school record that we've been chasing after because we only heard about it last night that we were close. So we've only been chasing after it probably today. So, and, it's, and I'm glad to see we broke it and you know, over a half a second from a 44.72 is what we got yesterday, and a 44.57 was the record, and we hit it with a 44.07 today. So there is a clock that's kind of behind the finish line. Did you glance up at it at all, or are you just focused on the finish line? Yeah, I'm, I'm eyes in my lane. For, like my peripheral vision narrows so much. I just I don't. Even, I barely see the guy next to my lane, and you know I just go look straight on track and try not to let the teammates down and push hard. Jake, any memories for you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Being a state champion shuttle and being in this four by one last year, getting seventh. You know, as Elijah said, there was a bad handoff, but we come back this year, redeem ourselves, go up three places, and improve our time by our, almost a full second. Well, I tell you what, it's been a lot of fun. You and I talked earlier. We're not going to have all these conversations anymore. I will miss them. So I thank you very much. Thank you.